you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe like share comment down below and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a video today i'm doing something that i should have been doing a while ago because although i make wigs for my clients I always seem to buy wigs for me and I have a lot of them that are that I claim were my favorite and this is one of them I have like six of them that I have that I'm gonna spruce up for you guys I should have showed you this one before and this is like this one is a synthetic one that I really like and I really don't even wear synthetic like that but this one I liked and as you can see that water is kind of dirty so let me um rinse this hair Okay guys, this is the same one that I just showed you. I'm just gonna let this sit in the water for a little bit longer, but let me show you the other ones that are my favorites that I made. I don't remember what the hair, what kind of hair it is, but this is one that's my favorite that I made. So I'm gonna revamp this one. Here's another one. I don't know why when I first started making wigs, I feel like, oh, I'll just, and this one is, this one really needs to be, be revamped. And when I brushed it through, the hair was like really, really soft. Did I make this one? Yeah, I made this one because it has an elastic band in it. Yep. And then this one, I remember really, really liking this. And some of them look the same. I have a habit of ordering stuff. And this is one of the first glue gun methods that I did. Because, see, I'm going to be revamping all of these. Today, I'm just going to shampoo them and condition them and then hang them up so that they can dry. And that's it. Hold on, let me take this. And I'm almost 100% sure this is synthetic because I can tell by the way it feels. And it's dirty. And for, for these wigs, I um, use the Tresemme. Mm. You don't want the water super hot either. I don't even I hate when the water and the hair goes down the um garbage disposal. It just seems so damn nasty to me. And I'm not mushing it up, I'm just separating it and then just wringing it out. I guess that's the word for that. Oh, I need some. Ooh, I didn't even want y'all to see me. I really didn't. I need some, um... <laughs> Garbage is full for smelling like sewer. Mm -hmm. Now, when I condition it, you guys, I was gonna originally use some fabric softener, but I ran out of fabric softener. So, with that being said, ooh, open it. I'm just gonna put hot, hot water and some Tresemme conditioner in there. Not a lot because it's synthetic. I just want something to soften it up. And that's enough water for that. And I'm going to put her in here. And let it be soft. The other wigs are already combed out and all that stuff. I could be two and two at one time though. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Shampoo 
more in there? Which one do I want to one do first? I think I do this one first. I'm gonna turn this water, make it nice and hot. Certain things come back. You start remembering certain things when you do certain things. Like my aunt Johnny, when we was coming out of her house, it was me, my sister, and my cousin Chris. And um, you know, back in the day, you, let me get. I don't want this stuck in there. You go outside, you play, you get musty. Y'all know what musty is. Don't act like you don't. And then you come in and it's time you gotta take your shower or your bath. But back then it was baths. You know, we were young, so we were taking baths back then. My aunt Johnny would run the bath water, let the girls take their bath first, you know, and then keep the same bath water for the boys. I guess she was conserving water back then, I don't know. But that just came to mind when I had some conditioner in the sink. I'm like, oh, I should put the other here right in the conditioner. Not up, not too. Okay. This one is done. It feels soft too. I'm gonna lay it in this towel right here. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna keep this conditioner water in there. It's not like it's a shampoo water. Okay, so that water is ready. For the next week. Out, starting from the end. And working my way up. so she can dry. I may lay her down. I don't know. It's synthetic, but I am going to add some oil to it before, but I didn't bring the oil downstairs, so this is this one, you guys.
You gotta make sure you get all that soap off because you don't want no build up or the hair acting funny or strange. And you decide to curl it or do whatever you're gonna do to it. So I brushed this and everything before I shampooed it. I'm gonna do it again before I put it in the conditioner for this human hair, human hair, some type of body wave. Like I said, I made these things a long time ago, and I couldn't even tell you who the hair is from. I could go back to my YouTube videos and tell you. And I was just gonna buy some more wigs for me. I don't know why. I mean, I do have made some. Most of these are the ones are made for myself. But I have more that I bought for myself than that I made for myself. So I said, let me spruce up the ones that I made for myself. And you guys, this hair is looking good. I'm just gonna do a couple of them on camera. And when they're all dried and everything, all of them are dried, I'll show you what they all look like. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in the water with the conditioner. Let it sit. And then I'll start some water. For the next wiggy dig dig. This is crazy because I woke up this morning. I said, I don't want to hear no election stuff. I'm not even going to think about it. And I didn't have a plan as to what I was going to do today. Okay, this one looks kind of like the one, but I think this one is wavy. It's a different, it's actually, it is different. But like I said, I already brushed her out upstairs. Sit her in this water. Let her soak. Should I just put them all on the water and let them soak? They all get clean, right? I think I will. And this one, did I make this one? Yep, I made this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna put them all in the water. We're gonna do the unjotted. We're gonna let everybody bathe together. That's what we're gonna do. Everybody's about to bathe together. And then this burgundy one. And because in Vegas it's 11.32, no, 11.38 in the morning. breakfast. I just woke up and started brainstorming. Actually, I, I, I did brainstorm, but when I woke up, I was like, I'm just going to lay here and chill. And that's when I said I laid there and I, I chilled. For about an hour, hour and a half. And I really enjoyed it. I did my little morning devotion, y'all. Her over here. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Let me condition it through. <coughs> okay, you guys, I decided to fill both sinks up one with shampoo and one with conditioner. 
right here. I shampooed all the hair and I just put the rest of the wigs, rinsed them and put the rest of them in the conditioner water because I got tired of letting water out. I feel as long as they're clean, it's cool to put them in the conditioner water and I added extra conditioner in there also, you guys. So yeah, that made it a whole lot easier for me. And the ones that I had already taken up out of the water that still had conditioner in it, I sat it to the side, pulled it over to the other side of the sink. That's where you see me rinsing and combing through the conditioner out of the hair. And I put that to the side on the towel. Here we go. The same procedure. This one right here, it had a lot of glue in it because I think it's one that I wore the most, but I'm gonna get the rest of that glue out. Um, when I take the wigs upstairs to put oil and stuff in them. And I'm loving the, the um, wave pattern on this hair. That'll probably be the one that I wear. So yeah, that's all I'm doing right here is rinsing them. And that's one of my first glue gun made wigs and I forgot about that. So, and I was just really brushing it off. They all rough and stuff and when the trash came out and I'll just put that back on. Okay guys, I'm upstairs right now. And that's the first one that I watched, the synthetic one. And it's feeling kind of funny, you guys. It don't feel like I'm gonna be wearing that. And all I'm doing to this here, I was gonna put Chiana, but I said, no, I'm gonna put the, the bio silk on there while it's wet, turn it over, comb it out some more. More bio silk, brush it some more. And I'm about to do something real ghetto, y'all. It works though. I'm gonna put them on one of these little kid coat hangers with the little things in them. Look at that. Hang it up to dry. What? <laughs> Don't play. And there's the burgundy one. And here I go, combing it out all hard again, all rough again. Then I put the bio silk on it, turn it over, put some on the bottom part, brush it out, get a hanger for it. Yeah. See, those little hangers work. I mean, I think this one is too short. Uh-oh. What are we gonna do now, you guys? Okay, that works. We got the elastic band. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> ha! Yes. Doing some more of the same. Bio silk. Mm-hmm. That one didn't have a hook, but it had my tag on it, so I put the tag through the coat hanger thingy the coat hanger hook. Repeating that process again. This wig has a whole lot of hair in it. A lot, a lot of hair. And it's heavy too. Yep, there goes that elastic bed. I can use that on the coat hanger. You guys, look. Don't play with me. Don't play. I'm gonna find a way to do it. Now this is not the other one that I said had the blue one and it wasn't, this is the one. And this is the one that I'm gonna, that I ended up wearing today. Okay, you guys. Okay, got all the glue out of that They're one. Up I hung the wigs up in my little closet. And, and drying. My, room where I keep all my little chemicals, products, and all that other stuff. That wasn't feeling right. <coughs> this is where I keep most of my supplies and stuff yep. <coughs> for hair. The bins for my <coughs> gifts when I send my wigs out right and there. Stuff. And I have a you bin know, product, product like and that. other bins with um, extra blow dryer, wigs, extra flat iron, and extra hair stuff and like stuff that. like that. No, so, yeah, this is the one that I decided to wear there today. She is. I think I'm going to put some so um, I'm going to put some more conditioner Nairobi foam on it. Um, to get those ends looking a little Water. bit more Make defined and the way it's having a little bit more defined and why did I do that with the camera in my hand? Oh, I don't know, but I did. Ooh. Don't judge me, okay? This is like that's the thing time. with the waterway because the ends always have a look like that to it. So, oops, so you got to do a little bit you know, extra work you guys. to it. I know I'm out of focus, you guys, because I'm holding the camera with, with, with my hand. And that's since I'm holding the camera in my hand. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put this one 
yes, this is one of my favorite ones. Up and um, I laid in bed for about an hour after I woke up, and I was like, I'm not even gonna rush anything I have to do today. So I decided to revamp some wigs. I was about to buy some more for me. I always buy more for me and make them for my clients. But then I figured I had the ones that I made for me and where are they? I'm like, I know I had a lot of them that I really like and I found them so I decided to revamp them and I took my time doing that as you guys can see. And then after that, I started cooking my dinner for tonight which is gonna be uploaded tomorrow either on, when, uh, either on Thursday or Friday. Because I still have to do a video for my little niece's, um, her company. She sells pajamas, makeup, eyelashes, you know, and I got to You got to support our little young entrepreneurs. Real proud of her. And I was going to do it last week, but I was waiting for her to send me some more stuff. Yeah, I buy my stuff from her. I sure do. I'm going to buy it. That's what I do. Okay. And I was okay. waiting for her to send my last package in. Okay, guys. Okay. Now, here we go. I'm done. And I told you guys I was going to wear today. this one. And it is. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Got that cooking, and that made a difference. I am not going to be gluing it down. I'm going to just spray the center part down. Because I don't particularly like scooping in these. And I have my brown band on. That's how I knew for sure that I would not be gluing it down. And you guys, I ran out of alcohol. So Witch Hazel did just fine for taking the oil off of the hairline. I just sprayed on it. It's got to be high. Insta hold bomb.com. Let's see if my part will go right. At this time, I have. I'm gonna leave this on. I 
and go downstairs because I have some oxtails that are in a pressure cooker. And I'm filming that for another video. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Told you I'd be back. Whew. I am for sure, for sure doing the most. Okay, let's down, you guys. He's on here, though. Let me see what I need to do now. Should I? Do I need to? I'm not going anywhere. Do some, I actually think my part looks okay. However, just in case. because it looks like natural because some came out when I put the um I don't know my close up on camera you guys I'm not gonna press the front part or the roots because for some reason I don't think that way we here needs to be pressed out after roots <clears throat> now this is one of six wigs that I revamped today. After I just shampooed, conditioned, got all the good golf, cleaned the lace off, and they're wigs that I made. And I was wondering, I had so many nice wigs. Where are my wigs at? Well, after I wear a wig, I always take it off and put it in this little bin. So, I went to the bin, and there they were. And this is Water Wave hair, you guys. Got which company? Yeah, I gotta do something about these fat arms and this back bit, y'all. I gotta do something about it. Look at this. I love it. What y'all think? Let me know down in the comment section if this video was helpful to you. You know, saving some wigs and saving some coins, y'all, because I'm all about saving the coins. And that's it. Y'all see her in the background with her right here? just made her the other day and she's for sale you guys I'll, I'll put her on today just to see what's going on I was, gonna, I was like oh I should keep her for myself but I decided not to she's gonna keep myself I can't keep all of them can't keep all of them yeah but anyway let me know if this video was helpful to you to you guys and um there are other products I was gonna use to clean the hair, but I said, let me use what I have. And Tressa May always seems to work good, you know, for the wavy hair, the shampoo, and the conditioner. And, um, but the video that I saw, a lady was using Downy, and um, she used pine salt. And so I wasn't gonna use pine salt, I don't wanna smell like Christmas tree. So I was not gonna use that. So the Tressa May shampoo and conditioner worked really good. And I also put some bio silk on it before it dried. And that's it, you guys. Oh, and this one, I used um, some ooh, Nairobi foam. And then I put some cheese silk infusion on it and let it dry. But you guys, the other ones are still on the hangers in the closet waiting to be worn and, and you know what that's that's good because i am always online buying wigs for me and i make them for my clients but the ones that i made for myself i like more than the ones that i buy the ones that i bought are in a bin under the bin of the ones that i made for myself does that make any sense i prefer the ones i make for myself when i get lazy i'll buy a wig that i see and i like so from now on, y'all just gonna see me rock, rocking 
LC Hair Company with Lola Chantel Hair Company. LC Hair Company. Get it? Caught it. Okay, if I, I didn't say this, I don't think I said this. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Um, and that's it, you guys. Today is the second day of election, and I've been staying busy and trying not to pay attention to it. But whatever the results are, God knows what they're going to be before we do. He knows even before there was this type of election for these two individuals, okay? But I voted. And I'm happy about that. I always vote, though. But don't get all, y'all don't get all stressed out and mad. Just go about your life the way you've been going about it. If your opponent doesn't win, even if your opponent does win. Okay? That's all we can do. That's just my thoughts, though. Okay? You guys stay blessed.